Hi everyone! As you can see, I have a, sort of a new setup around here. Ooh, I just did the Madonna Vogue. Vogue, Vogue. Anyway, um, I have a new setup. I'm trying out some new things. If you see me do some weird things, it's because I have a monitor to um, over here and I'm not used to seeing myself when I'm videoing. I Before, I just kind of put myself in the frame and kind of guessed where I was. And now I can actually see where I am in the frame, which is huge. This way I'm not going to disappear off camera or anything. So we're going to get started. Today I am going to do a fall look that's been kind of going around YouTube. Um, it's with kind of a reddish metallic eye for fall and um, I was going to use one palette and one palette only. It is the Smashbox Cherry Smoke palette. Make sure you can see that. Um, came out last year and it is now, I think a lot of people are saying it's now a Nordstrom rack and you can get pick it up really cheap. I think it's one of the most underutilized palettes of 2014. So hopefully I can kind of boost their sales a little bit on this. I'm not being paid by them. I just really, really love this palette. Okay. So to begin, I am going to start with the Urban Decay Shadow Primer. Everybody has this. I'm sure everybody has gotten free samples from them from one thing or another. I have so many of these. It's ridiculous. I'm never going to run out. And I will never have to buy any because they keep putting it for free in their palettes and everything else. I'm actually not sure how they make money on this. Oop. And as you can see, you don't have to be super precise when you put on the eyeshadow primer. You just have to get it on your lids somehow. Okay, I am going to start with the gold color that is right there. there. Woo! So you can tell I'm not very good at doing this right now. Right there. That one. And I'm mostly, mostly going to be using the um, shadows that are in that column with the same gold. But I'm going to take the gold, pick it up on my NARS brush, and I don't think it tells me what it is. NARS 49 brush. It was actually for their dual eyeshadows, and it is such a good brush that I just use it for everything. Okay, so I'm going to take the gold shadow and I'm going to put it up right above my crease. And a little bit into my crease as well. And do the same for the other eye. And as you can tell, I am not super precise ever when putting on my eyeshadow. I figure most people aren't unless you've been doing it forever. Um, and so I do a lot of cleanup along the way. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is the... Ooh, find it, find it, right there. That color right there kind of goldy berry color and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it all over on my lid and as you can see I'm not swiping it on I'm not wiping it on I am taking the color and patting it onto my lid so that I get a good color payoff from the shadow. 
Okay, I'm going to do the same for the other eye. And once I have it on all on my lid, I am going to switch to a little pencil brush. This one is the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. And I'm going to use that for, oh guys, you get to watch me do this again. That one, the middle color right there. So I'm going to take that color, take a little bit, and take it and put it right in the crease in between the berry metallic color and the gold color I used before. Okay, next I'm going to take the Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm going to take it and I'm going to blend all my colors together. Mostly I am taking that burgundy that I just put in the crease and I'm making sure that it's blending, blended both in and out of the two colors on either side of it. And I think I'm done a little bit. I think I'm going to take a little bit more of that top gold color bring it in just make the transition a little less in between the two colors and then for underneath the brow bone I am going to take the pink color right there Okay, for the eyeliner, I am going to be using the Stilla, oh, sorry guys, I got hair on my eye, um, the Stilla Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Lionfish. Again, I'm just kind of warming it up a little bit on my hand, even though it's really hot in my room. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to... Put it right in my lash line and a little bit above. This is one of those steps where you want to take your time 
Don't want to rush through it. Specifically because you don't want to poke your eyeball. Okay, so I'm going to take this again and I'm going to take it right up. where my eyelashes are underneath just go right back and forth makes the eyeliner just a little bit more dramatic without doing the full tight line procedure or doing a really crazy winged eyeliner. Um, for this look I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more simple um, just for everybody to wear because the other um, tutorials I've seen using this they've been so super dramatic and I kind of wanted people to see that you can actually wear this in every day. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Makeup Forever primer. Um, this one is the redness correcting primer. Um, as you can tell I kind of have some redness in my cheeks right here all the time. I don't know what it is. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't do anything. I'm just always red there. And especially since my room is somewhat hot right now, my other cheek is also red right there. So I'm going to try to tame that a little bit with the color correcting primer. As you can see, it's green. I'm take it and just put it on my face and it smells really good I don't know what it is about this primer but it smells so good the other primers don't really have a smell which is fine I don't like things that have a lot of scent um, last Christmas I brought bought the benefit cheek palette thing it had all their blushes in it and the blushes were so smelly that I had to take them back I felt like I just I smelled like somebody had rubbed an old lady all over my face and I just couldn't do it I couldn't handle it okay so now that I'm all primed I am going to use the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. Um, my color is light too. So for this, sort of changed how I apply foundation, especially this one. It dries so quickly that I do one side of my face and I take a stippling brush and I take it So I didn't finish what I was saying. I take everything and I swirl it around with my stippling brush and make sure that everything is covered. I didn't think you needed to see the rest of this in slow-mo, so I speeded it up for you. You're welcome. Okay, so now that that's done, I am going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and as you can see I've had this one for a while in Luminous Light with the Hourglass special powder brush that they have. I'm going to take it and just dust it all over. Now some people do this step last, I like doing it here. There is really no wrong in makeup. It is whatever you want to do.
Whatever step you want to do, fine, go for it. Everybody has their own little tips and tricks and what to do, and I found that they all work to some degree. So you just find whatever works for you. This is what works for me. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is I am going to put on concealer. And this concealer is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Ooh, tasty. And then I'm going to take a brush to go underneath. And as you can see, I'm kind of cleaning up where I had some powder fall out from doing my eyeshadow. That is why I like to do my face makeup after I do my eyeshadow because it's just so much easier to clean up any fallout that I might have. Okay, so once that is done, I am going to I am going to set my under eye concealer with ooh the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I just dumped some on my desk. So I'm going to pick it up with my brush. And I'm going to take it and pat it and roll it on there. You don't want a lot. You don't want a lot because it will cause creases, which I get. I get them if I don't set my concealer, and I get them if I set my concealer and I use too much powder. So, kind of have a fine balance that I need to walk in between them both. Okay, so my next step, I am going to use the NARS Deep Throat blush. As you can see it's kind of in the same maroon berry um, family as the uh, eyeshadow was. So I wanted to keep everything kind of warm. so that the colors weren't competing against each other. Next up, I'm going to use the Cindy Lou Manizer from The Balm. It is just a really pretty kind of rose gold highlighter. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to put it right at the very top of my cheek. And a little bit on top of my chin, a little bit of my cupid's bow, and I'm going to stay away from this area today. Um, I just feel like I've been really oily and adding highlight to that just makes it worse. I'm going to make sure 
Did I get it? Put on there, okay. And then the next step is totally optional, but I am going to use some bronzer. And I got this, so it's French, and I know how to say bonjour. And I think the other one is Soleil, but I'm not entirely positive. But this is the palette that I'm going to be using. And the bronzer that I am using on the inside is I'm going to use the Sun Bunny. Sun Sun Bunny Bronzer, which is the one right in the middle. And for this, I'm going to use a large brush. Put it in there, tap it off, and then go right in the hollow of my cheek. And then we go up and around the outside of my face. And I'm not even going to meet it in the middle. And so that way it's just a little bit contoured but it's not a real heavy contour and the final steps I'm going to do are I am going to put my on mascara which for this one I'm going to try the Too Faced lash injection it came with that Too Faced bronzing palette and so why not give it a try And then at this point, I wasn't going to do it, but I think I am. I am going to use, hopefully I can find it, uh, MAC Fresh Moroccan Lipstick. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And I'm not even going to do my brows. I'm just going to leave them. So this is it. This is your easy to do fall makeup tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button down below somewhere, somewhere. And uh, um, subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.